Hello everybody, this is going to be a quick one minute tutorial on how an RV electrical distribution system works in its most basic form. Your coach, your results may vary. There's two ways that you can typically get power into a modern motor coach, especially a large one. In this case, we have a ribbed input here from a generator, an owning generator, and we have a smooth input that's on shore power that runs in through the side of the coach. Two ways to get power in. They're mated together, those two sources. They go through what's called an AB switch, and they come out with 120 on the other side. Two, two sources in, one out. The 120 comes in through the back. It can feed your 120 uh, systems, air conditioning, uh, refrigerators. You can have separate breakers. And typically, on one of the breakers, you will have, as you'll see down here, it's double tapped at the bottom of the uh, breaker. It's feeding in the hot here from the 120, the neutral here, and the ground up here on the uh, ground bar from the input source. But it's also taking down power down here to a 12 volt, uh, 120 to 12 volt uh, DC transformer. And it's then taking that power up here through a relay. It's running it into the back of the 12 volt system. It's now 12 volts. You have a battery uh, a charger for your coach battery that's built in to keep your battery uh, charged, your coach battery. You have a grounding uh, here as well as a neutral ground. And all this is is just feeding various 12 volt uh, taps off of this uh, system with a lot of uh, grounding here. So there it is in its most simplest form. Two sources of power uh, input one source into the converter box divides it into 120 takes some of it down for 12 volt distribution over here and here's all your various feeds for lights water pump and things like that and one master fuse to protect the whole 12 volt panel thanks for watching everybody